Hey, what's up everybody? So I have an unboxing to do today from the United States Mint. That's right, what is in this box comes from the United States Mint. We are going to open up this box. Now, what is inside this box? I did a video a couple weeks ago, a short video saying that I purchased something from the United States Mint. I said it could have been off the 2020 product schedule or the 2021 product schedule and I asked for everybody to make a guess in the comment section below what I purchased from the United States Mint and several people actually did get that right but we are going to open this up and we're going to see exactly what is inside this box now what is inside this box I'll tell you this this is the silver stackers metal in my opinion Every silver stacker should want what is inside this box. Not saying every silver stacker should buy what is inside this box because this is a expensive, high premium silver metal. So this is definitely not a stacking metal per se because it's high premium. But we are going to absolutely open this up and we're gonna take a look and see what is inside this box. So we're gonna just open it up from the side right there. And I'm gonna make sure there's nothing, the paperwork doesn't fly out of this box. All right, so this is what I purchased from the United States Mint. This is a presidential silver medal. This comes from the presidential silver medal program just like it says right there on the box silver metal program it's a nice little box it's like a turquoise color box not too bad not too bad so we're gonna go ahead and slide this open now we are going to get this open like that and then the first thing we see is the certificate of authenticity so we are going to go ahead and open that up and it says right there, three nines fine silver, 1.598 inches. Weight is one troy ounce, 31.103 grams. And the edge, because it is a metal and not a coin, it is a plain edge, not a reeded edge. So really cool. Nice little box. This is a uh, nice little clamshell. Beautiful, yeah. All right, so this here is the Andrew Jackson Presidential Medal. Now, I almost, I wish this came with, like, the uh, the bronze medals comes with a stand that you can stand these medals up. I wish this came with that so I could stand it up right now, but it does not. So I put the coin glove on so we don't uh, fingerprint this medal up, and we're going to take out this medal. We're going to take a close up close look at this medal and here we have andrew jackson 1829 andrew jackson president of the united states it says around the top of the medal and really cool it looks like it has a matte finish it's not a proof finish it looks more like a matte finish so really cool then we are going to take a look at the reverse of the medal and here we have a couple of hands shaking hands and it says peace and friendship and here we have the smooth edge it's not a reeded edge it is a smooth edge now what we are going to do is i want to talk about a little bit of what a lot of people may consider interesting facts about andrew jackson and the election of andrew jackson leading up to Andrew Jackson becoming president of the United States. And a little bit about the presidency of the one Andrew Jackson, the people's president. So stay tuned for that. In 1824 was the first election that Andrew Jackson ran for president of the United States. In 1824 was the first election 
that the majority of the people voted for President of the United States. Prior to 1824, it was mainly the wealthy people who voted for President of the United States. But in 1824, all of the people came together and voted for President of the United States, and the majority of the people voted for Andrew Jackson. But Andrew Jackson received 99 of the delegates, while John Quincy Adams received 84 of the delegates, and the Speaker of the House, Henry Clay, received 37 delegates, so nobody received a majority of the delegates, even though Andrew Jackson received the most of the popular vote and the most of the delegates. However, none of the candidates received the majority of the delegates, so the election went to the House for a vote. The Speaker of the House made a deal. The Speaker of the House, Henry Clay, made a deal with John Quincy Adams that if he was elected President of the United States, that Henry Clay would become the Secretary of the State, and Henry Clay convinced the House of Representatives to vote John Quincy Adams as the sixth President of the United States. Even though not one elector voted for John Quincy Adams. This was widely known as the corrupt bargain between the Speaker of the House, Henry Clay, and John Quincy Adams. In 1828, Andrew Jackson ran again for President of the United States against John Quincy Adams, and the people once again spoke and voted in Andrew Jackson as the seventh President of the United States of America. Andrew Jackson stood for a lot of things that a lot of silver stackers stand for. And one of the things that Andrew Jackson despised, a couple of things that Andrew Jackson despised. One is debt. Andrew Jackson did not like debt. In fact, he was, I believe, the only president who actually paid off the national debt. Andrew Jackson paid off the United States national debt. Andrew Jackson hated debt. The other thing that Andrew Jackson despised was the banks. Andrew Jackson wanted to abolish the second national bank. Andrew Jackson believed that the banks were unconstitutional. And while he was in office, Congress passed a bill to establish the third national bank and Andrew Jackson vetoed that bill. The other thing that Andrew Jackson despised was paper money. Andrew Jackson said that only silver and gold was money. That's what Andrew Jackson believed. And isn't it funny though that Andrew Jackson did not like paper money? But Andrew Jackson is on the $20 dollar bill. Something that Andrew Jackson did not like. Andrew Jackson believed that paper was not money and only silver and gold was money. But yet, Andrew Jackson was put on the $20 bill. Andrew Jackson was only in office until 1837, but by 1841, Andrew Jackson before he died in 1845. In 1841, he saw the last branch of the United States National Bank close its doors. Andrew Jackson prevailed by ending the United States National Bank. Andrew Jackson was once asked, what was your greatest achievement as President of the United States? And he said, the defeat of the banks. So let me know what you guys think about this Andrew Jackson Presidential Medal. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.